two weeks after the rioting in Lhasa that left as many as 100 people dead. The condemnation of China and its occupation of Tibet continues to gather momentum across the world. In Tokyo, hundreds of people gathered outside the Chinese embassy to protest at the crackdown on the demonstrators in Tibet. I don't know if China will hear our message, but I think it's important to make a show, not just for China, but to show Japan's feelings about Tibet to the whole world. Stop getting Stop getting In India, there were similar scenes, free Tibet demonstrators calling on its government to make a clear stand on human rights abuses in Tibet and western China. In Delhi, the Dalai Lama met with his supporters of his government in exile. He says he's prepared to take part in dialogue with China. Back in China, clashes between pro-Tibet activists and Chinese security forces continued all last week. Spontaneous demonstrations, many of them ending in violent confrontations as the demonstrators faced off against the army. Throughout the week, the government poured in thousands of troops into the sensitive western provinces along the Tibet border. The Chinese authorities released a most wanted list, 21 pictures of people said to be involved in the violence. Today China continued to bar foreign journalists from entering Tibetan ethnic areas in western China. Dozens of journalists and camera teams have been threatened, intimidated and expelled from the affected areas despite China's pre-Olympic promise to allow freedom of coverage for foreign media based in the country. Peter Sharp, Sky News in Beijing. Well, Sky's Paul Brennan is at the march in central London for us this lunchtime. Paul, what is it the protesters are asking for? Well, there are several demands from the protesters here in central London this morning. First of all, that is the Chinese embassy over my shoulder there behind me. And they are currently singing songs and they have been chanting uh, and I have to say shouting abuse at the embassy uh, building itself before they march down to Trafalgar Square for about one o'clock. Uh, the demands that they're after, first of all, are for access to Tibet for independent bodies such as the United Nations, the Red Cross, and also for journalists to get in and be able to report truthfully about exactly what is going on inside Tibet and also political pressure to urge the world leaders to boycott the opening ceremony of the Beijing Games which is coming up later on in the summer in order to send a message uh, to the Chinese government that what is happening in Tibet uh, as far as these people are concerned simply is not on.